Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. Once again, I would like to say thank you so much for those who have been supporting our channel to this far. If it were not for your support, our channel would not have garnered the kind of subscription and the kind of viewership that it has garnered to this date. So once again, I'd like to say thank you so much and may I welcome you again to the analysis of today's channel. So there is no doubt that many as Azimio members still cannot come to terms with the loss of Raila Molodinga's presidential election. So just when everything appeared to fall into place, then all hell broke loose. That, that is in specific reference to the events to the date when Chebukati made that announcement that William Samoy Ruto was now the duly elected president of the Republic of Kenya. But truth be told, I am an Azimio supporter. That is the honest part of me. But I acknowledge that the president of the Republic of Kenya is now William Samoy Ruto. And, but after a lot of soul searching, I still had to find out what could have been the reasons why most of the time you realize that William Samoy Ruto was always ahead of Raila Molodingas in terms of campaign. Who was this that was leaking a lot of those secrets to William Samoy Ruto? So there is a particular lady that was attached to Aida Odinga. It all boils down to that lady that was attached to Mama Aida Odinga. Now, this lady is alleged that was the one who used to pull chairs during any secret meeting within the current residence of Raila Mola Odinga. This lady would pull chairs whenever there were meetings of governors within the current residence of Raila Mola Odinga. He would assume the humble lady and that she managed to win the trust of Mama Aida Odinga. So nobody suspected her during the other time. Nobody suspected her during that time. So she would put chairs and serve leaders in attendance with juice and bottle of mineral water during campaign period. And that was, first of all, leaked by one of uh, Azimio governors who sought anonymity over the same. So before we delve deep into the revelations of of this lady that used to leak the secrets of Azimio and Kenya lands is, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel if you are a first time visitor. So, like I said when I started this analysis, many of Azimio and Kenya lands still cannot come to terms with why Raila Molodinga had to be announced number two when Chebukati released the results to the public. So, this lady's name is Terry Chocolate. And from our sources, the lady hails from Sia County, and by default, I think this lady is the Luo, comes from the Luo origin. So, the details that have come to, that came to the public domain previously, was that the lady used to serve as, you know, a junior staff within the Mama Aida Odinga's, you know, residence. And she would do the cleaning. She would do the table preparation of table, preparation of chair. But then little did Mama Aida Odinga know that this lady was playing the role of a spy. I mean, then the question is, who was this lady spying for? It is clear that the lady was not spying for for Jacoya. So definitely, the only person that this lady was spying for is Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And that was evident because the moment Chebukati announced the results, then this lady bolted out of that residence and immediately announced her allegiance to Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And she immediately decided to criticize Winnie Odinga, decided to criticize the Odinga family. So that, that's what the public realized that, no, this could have been the lady that was leaking some of this information to the public or to the Kenya Kwanzaa government. 
because the question is how would William Samaruto know about the plans of Azimio and Kenya lands? The only reason why William Samaruto would know all this is because of this lady. So that is why now we find that the lady could have been planted as a secret spy to reveal all the details of uh, Raila Molodinga's family to the Kenya Kwanza wing. Because that is the only reason why you find that William Samaruto was always ahead of things. Realize that even the happenings of bombers of Kenya, why would the Kenya Kwanza know about these things? It is very simple. The details were being leaked by this lady, the lady known as Terry Chocolate from Sierra County. That's the person that should be blamed for the loss of Azimio and Kenya Alliance, for all the leakage of all the plans of Azimio and Kenya Alliance, this lady. Perhaps this explains the reason why most of the time you find that Winnie Odinga was always at the forefront and that she's the one that has been always been entrusted in the details of Raila Amolo Odinga's inner itinerary. So ladies and gentlemen, I think by now you have a clue of who could have been the reason why Raila Amolo Odinga's details were being leaked to the Kenya Kwanza wing. That's the lady, the lady Terry Chocolate. So ladies and gentlemen, perhaps if you're viewing our channel for the first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. You can hit the notification bell so that every time we uh, reveal such details, you'll always become the first person to get notified. Now, until you meet again, I'd like to rest my case there. And may I urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until you meet again for another analysis.